I don't got to hurt you. God will. You know, you're feeling for no reason, bro. You built your own hatred off looking at me. What's wrong with you? You can't stop what God built, bro. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tamari, and I go by Tamari Lake on all my socials. Today, I am about to do something to my hair because I just need to do something. I took the mini twist out, and as you can see, it's going crazy. It's wanting to do whatever it wants to do. It's a free form fro. Um, I'm going to try to do a wash and go. So I'm about to do a um, co-wash, and then when I get out of the shower, y'all going to help me with the wash and go process. I don't think I, I definitely don't think I want no middle part. So it's going to kind of be like, I don't know if I want it to be coming down like a little mushroom wash and go, or if we're going to do everything to the back. I don't know. I don't know, but I have to figure out something to do with my hair so that it doesn't keep getting matted and tangled. So yeah. And then I got a lot of stuff to do today. I got to clean up. I got to do my hair. I got to cook. It's Sunday, so it's like a reset day. It is 9.40 in the morning. And yeah, I want to at least be done with everything by hopefully five. Shit. So I can just chill and watch um, TV for the rest of the day. But yeah, let me go ahead and get started. If you're new, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, let's go. Right, y'all, so I just got out of the shower. I tried to detangle my hair as best I could while I was in the shower, but the little brush that I was using broke because hair thick as fuck. So I put it in some little sections, and I'm about to just go ahead and detangle each section a little bit more thoroughly. I'm going to be using this Camille Rose, the Leave-In Honey Hydrate, to kind of get my hair a little bit soft. And I ain't gonna lie, you guys, I'm already like, <laughs> I'm already on some, um, just put the mini twist back in, cause it's true. Do we really wanna do a wash and go? Because I don't know if it's gonna last long. And then that means like two weeks from now, I'm gonna have to redo my hair. But I have been thinking of getting a braid down again, so I don't know. So this is what we're looking like. We stretch it out a little bit but yeah um detangling in these sections would be easier than trying to do it how i was doing it in the shower Oh my God, are y'all are y'all going to vote for the uh, the election? Are y'all voting for Trump or Kamala? I'm voting for neither one of them. My vote's on God. I believe God gonna do it. Before I believe Kamala or Trump will do anything. The most high gonna do it before them, so. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I'm not voting. But if you've been here for a little while, you know, I don't really be into the holidays or anything like that. Any of the regular American traditional norms and values. i just be living the journey of life but um i am interested to see what's gonna happen what's gonna take place during the election and after so y'all just make sure y'all are prayed up y'all safe out here y'all so i have it um detangled and i'm just gonna let it air dry like this for a little bit and then i am going to attempt to do a wash and go you know what i'm saying my arms and my shoulders is tired just from detangling 
Um, yeah, we're going to see how this wash and go comes out. Maybe a wash and go will last a week. I don't know. Or maybe I should just do my twist. Them t the last time I did the twist, it took me 10 hours. So I would be able to start today, but I wouldn't finish until tomorrow. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. But I need to go take this ground turkey out because I'm about to make a, a meatloaf and I need to clean up a little bit. And hopefully by then I will have decided what I'm going to do with my hair. Um, knowing me, I'll fuck around and leave it like this and just put on a bonnet because where am I going? Who's coming to see me? Like, what? where am I going next week? Apart from work, you know what I'm saying? But no, I do want to try a wash and go just to kind of see like this technique that I have in mind to see if it will work out. But yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people be like, oh, you're supposed to have your hair soaking, 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 soaking wet. Baby, this hair is just about dry. Like from getting out of the shower to the amount of time that it took me to detangle. It's literally just about dry. So... The wash and go, I might use the spray bottle to spray the hair just a little bit, but it's going to be pretty much dry, but we're going to see. We're going to see how it's going to come out. I'll be back. Wait, don't fight me. Don't fight me. I'm going to explain in details how I was able to achieve this easy, simple wash and go type look, right? So after I detangled my hair, you guys, I literally took this this gel right here to lock it up to leave with you my favorite my go-to I don't think I can ever switch up on them um I took the gel and I did my hair in finger coils right I was going to do a wash and go and like separate my curls like almost kind of like individually but I felt like that was going to take too long and I didn't feel like doing it because y'all know getting back into the natural hair routine it does take you know some patience and some time and I said I just wanted something simple I wanted that really the ends of my hair to be curly versus from root to strand to be curly so I did the finger coils I did them big I didn't do them as little as I did in one of my last videos that I uploaded on my shorts so if you haven't seen that check it out but I did them big I let them sit for some days until I was actually ready to style my hair which is today and then I took some oil and then I separated them. I separated big finger coils on my hair to get a curly look. So this is what it looks like. It's really, the roots are really like thick, right? So I'm gonna show you guys the back. I'm not really sure how good it looks in the back, but I don't really care about the back. It's really the front and the sides that are my main concern. So, it's giving the curly look and then my roots like I said my roots were I when I did the finger coils I wasn't trying to make the root of the coils super tight just really the ends of my hair so the roots weren't you know what I'm saying they weren't really looking great after days of the large finger curls which is you know why I didn't want to separate them until I actually decided to do my hair so I'm just going to go ahead and take this off till I've been laying my my edges down um, with the same gel and then some wild growth hair oil on the edges because you got to put it on the edges and all over your hair so it can grow. And then I'm just going to do like a little band like this just to kind of keep the hair in position and in place. I should have did it in the back too. I should have put some gel and kind of brushed the back up a little bit, but I'll do that tomorrow because I feel like this style is going to last a little bit before the curls get super super <clears throat> undefined and super frizzy so yeah it's my little simple right you guys and so what I'm gonna do now is you can kind of see like how I had it coiled 
like just really the ends of the hair with the gel and then the roots are still pretty much in its natural state i'm gonna go ahead and just refresh it a little bit these little ends these little tails i'm gonna take it and yeah last year baby girl <laughs> last year at this time sis was bald headed sis had no hair i was looking like i was going through a britney spears moment or episode but really it was it wasn't none the last day. sometimes i feel like when people do a look or have a moment with themselves where they're like facing their fears and not really caring about the perception that other people have of them to judge whether or not they're in the best state of mind or an unhealthy state of mind. You just, you know, if you assume that everybody thinks that, oh, you're your best self only when your hair is done, when your hair is cut and nice. And that don't always be the case. Sometimes you gotta go through those moments of where you, you is bald headed, you don't have no hair just to know that you are still that person that girl that man you know what i'm saying like the style the quality doesn't matter right like your your own inner perception and thought of yourself is ultimately what matters not your your outer appearance not your outer appearance yes your outer appearance will help you to cultivate internally feelings that validate you and your purpose but it shouldn't be the only thing that does you should be able to validate yourself regardless of what's going on on the outside and yeah so when i was looking bald headed i know i was out here looking crazy and i know y'all was like i just hope she's okay and i i i was and i am so yeah this is the little hairstyle the back of my hair is really really loose compared to the front of my hair when it comes to the the tightness and texture of the curl um if i wanted to i feel like i could take a pick and make it a little bit bigger but i do plan on kind of like stretching it out at nighttime just to see if i can make the fro you know what i'm saying a little bit bigger so also if any other parts of my hair start to look like too if they start to look too frizzy like this one if it starts to look too frizzy then i'll also go ahead with some gel and just like refresh it up like right here, like if it's looking too frizzy, then I'll just take a little bit of gel and refresh up the curl. But yeah, guys, this was my simple wash and go. And so what I'll do to kind of just like make sure my hair is not overly wet or experiencing any lack of moisture, I'll just spritz it with the spray bottle a few times, not to drench it, but just enough to reactivate the product or the gel that's already in my hair and to give it like an unstiff moment so that i can you know move it and touch my roots and do whatever i need to do hey guys so this is the final look this is my wash and go look of course i really wanted like a bang to get some of this forehead covered up but you know what baby my hairline is impeccable baby edges are giving health baby edges are giving a life the the natural outline of my hairline is giving amazing amazingly crowned so i don't necessarily need anything to cover up my forehead it's not my forehead ain't really an insecurity of mine but i do like for you know a nice little curly bang a nice little pineapple style i, I do love it so as soon as the hair is long enough for the pineapple oh i just love the way that the hair will come up off my face down into my forehead and it just so, even makes this part of my face look even more better so this is a hairstyle. I'm not worried about the back. It's the front for me. But here's what the bag looks like. Like I said, I could have put some gel on the back just to kind of slick it a little bit more. But I'll probably do that as I continue to use these coils to style my hair, hopefully for the next week. And then next week, I'll decide whether or not I'm going to get this braid down and or just do another set of mini twists. But the mini twists definitely 
definitely gives the hair the protective style that I'm going to be continuing for my natural hair journey. If you see anything more than less, it's going to be a mini twist because I can do that myself regardless of the amount of time that it takes. I'm guessing if I start to do it more, then I'll get faster at it. But that's it, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment down below whether or not you like this hairstyle. And I will see you guys in the next video.